Welcome to this session. Today, we're going to cover digital self-service portal user management with Oracle Identity Cloud Service. After completing this lesson, you will be able to understand the role of Oracle Identity Cloud Service, understand how to create an application for the digital self-service portal, understand how to manage users and groups, and finally, you'll understand how to customize password policies and notifications. Let's begin by discussing the Oracle Identity Cloud Service role. Digital Self-Service, or DSS, includes seamless integration with Oracle's Identity Cloud Service, or IDCS. IDCS is a SaaS identity management solution. The IDCS instance is tied to the customer's Oracle Cloud account. IDCS is managed by the utility administrator or their designee. IDCS is provisioned as part of the free tier of Oracle Cloud infrastructure. However, licenses are required to use IDCS as the identity provider in production environments. This training discusses the model used within IDCS and provides recommended practices. The Oracle Cloud account and IDCS are tightly linked. Your first step is to link the newly purchased digital self-service cloud service to an Oracle Cloud account. With an Oracle Cloud account, you can manage services, add users, and configure access to resources. The Cloud Account Administrator receives an automated message with details and instructions. The Cloud Account and IDCS Stripe must be configured to link to digital self-service application environments. Once configuration is complete, URLs for digital self-service environments are sent separately via email to the customer contact once they've been provisioned. IDCS generated emails can be customized by the utility to include these URLs if desired. For information about customization options, contact your delivery team. When DSS is linked to your cloud account, you will be able to sign into your Oracle Cloud Console to perform administrative tasks for your new service. You will need the URLs and sign-in credentials that are provided to the primary service administrator and your account administrator via email. Your Cloud Console URL will look something like this. Your Oracle Cloud Console includes a list of Oracle services, including Oracle Identity Cloud Service. Click the Admin Console link in your Oracle Identity Cloud Service instance to access IDCS configuration. If you have more than one IDCS service, choose the instance you want to integrate with Digital Self-Service. Utility administrators can use the IDCS Administrator Console to manage users, manage applications, and manage groups. Two key entities in IDCS that we'll discuss today are users and groups. Users represent a person who will log into the application. Groups can be a collection of many users with similar descriptions, roles, or permissions. First, you'll create groups, and then you'll create users and assign them to groups. Utilities also use the following objects that are provided by the Identity Cloud Service. Applications. Utilities will have a custom application for their digital self-service portal. Self-registration profiles, which enable utility customers to self-register and be automatically assigned to groups. Email templates enable utilities to create and send custom emails to their customers for common tasks, such as registration and password resets. And finally, password policies, which can be customized to specify password requirements, such as password length or expiration timeframes. Now let's talk about creating a confidential application. The IDCS administrator will need to complete the following steps to enable integration with digital self-service. First, they must create a confidential application. Next, they must enter the DSS portal URLs that were provided via email. Then they will set up the authorization grant types, which include client credentials and JSON web tokens. 
They will configure the token issuance policy, save the client ID and client secret in a secure location, and finally, provide the client ID and secret to the Oracle Utilities DevOps team. Now let's move on to creating users and groups. We'll start with the Oracle Identity Cloud Service Administrator Console, which is used to manage internal utility groups, users, and configuration settings. Digital self-service portal users, which are the utility's customers, are created via self-registration. To create a new group or manage an existing group, you click on the group icon. You should create groups before you create users. This enables you to add users to groups as you create them. You can also add groups by clicking the menu at the top left of the IDCS Administrator Console and selecting Groups. You can then specify a name and description for the group. At a minimum, you will create at least one group, WSS User Group, for your utility customers. To create a new user or manage an existing user, you click on the user icon. When adding a new user, the first step is to enter the user's name and username. By default, IDCS and Digital Self Service are configured to use the email address as the username. If you deselect the email option, notice that an additional field for username is displayed. If you change the setting to allow unique usernames, additional configuration will be required in your CIS and DSS portal. After you enter the user's details, you can click Next to assign the user to one or more groups. You can select individual groups or select the Select All button to add the users to all of the listed groups. Typically, you will add your users to the WSS user group. This step is optional. After the user is created, an email is sent to the user's email address with a link and a button that allows users to activate their account and set a password. The user sets a new password, which must conform to the utility's password policies, which might include the use of special characters or mandating that the password is a certain length. Lastly, let's discuss how to manage both the email notifications and password policies in your Oracle Identity Cloud Service settings. You can access both the notifications and the password policy settings under the Settings section of the dashboard. Click the Notifications option to configure the notifications that are sent to your users when user events occur. For example, you can customize the notification that is sent when a user account is created. Your administrator can review and modify the information in the email templates to suit the needs of your utility. Oracle provides you with several notification email templates that you can use to notify customers about account events. These include the self-registration email verification template, the welcome self-registration user template, password recovery request template, password change template, user account lock template, and several others. For digital self-service, utilities can choose to use one of three Oracle Identity Cloud Service password policies. They are the simple, standard, or custom password policies. If using the custom policy, utilities have the ability to define numerous details about the password policy. This includes the password length, password expiration, account lock threshold, enable auto unlock account, auto unlock account duration, previous passwords remembered, and the password must or must not contain characters and attributes. You can also use the IDCS Administrator Console to view online reports and data that help you to monitor your activity. Today you learned about the role of Oracle Identity Cloud Service in the user management process. You learned how to create an Identity Cloud Service application for the Digital Self-Service Portal. You learned how to manually create Identity Cloud Service users and groups. And finally, you learned how to configure notifications and password policy settings in Oracle Identity Cloud Service. Thanks for watching and have a great day.